What I'm gonna do today is show y'all a couple of different things that you could do in order to get your property sold in today's market. Obviously, everything is virtual right now. You know, uh, buyers are still out here buying houses. For example, I just got a couple of houses on the contract this week and I have buyers contacting me specifically about this house and some other properties that I got as well. You know, uh, I got a potential $30,000 on the plate. So obviously buyers are still out here. You know, uh, obviously we're moving into a buyer's market. You wanna remember that business must go on. Obviously you're gonna make some adjustments. We've been talking about this over the last few videos, right? You wanna make sure you're incorporating the creative real estate. You wanna make sure you're uh, incorporating virtual real estate investing at the moment as well. Because at the end of the day, if we're quarantined, then you wanna make sure that you make the adjustments. And keep in mind, if you make the adjustments, you can continue to move forward and protect yourself financially as well. But just remember, you know, there's always gonna be money in the market. So real estate is, especially right now, real estate is really one of the best businesses to be in. Uh, prices are starting to drop, so that means that you wanna make the adjustment on your offers. Those who adjust will succeed in any market, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is make the adjustment. All right, so today what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of tips on what we've been doing in order to uh, get our property sold. As you can see, I got the rubber gloves on. I don't even come outside of the house, to be honest with you. I don't do this stuff. I'm just doing this to show you how you can get it done on video. I have virtual assistants and I also have local assistants here in my local area that do this stuff for me. So I'm really doing this for video purposes, to be honest. So the first thing I'm gonna do is walk you through the house. I'm gonna show you some things that you can do. I'm really gonna provide you with three tips today that you need to keep in mind in order to get your properties sold, in order to show your properties to your buyers, all right? So uh, if you're gonna be showing the properties yourself, make sure you got some gloves on and uh, make sure you dispose of the gloves when you leave the property. You don't wanna be jumping in, you don't wanna be touching everything in the house then jumping into your car and uh, getting a car infected if it's something in the house that's infected because there's gonna be people walking through this property. You don't know what they're gonna to be touching. So you wanna make sure that you keep, you're keeping yourself safe as well. You don't wanna bring this stuff home with you. All right, so first thing you wanna keep in mind is you wanna make sure you get a lock box on the property. Now you can do this or you can have the seller of the property do this for you. I personally had the seller put the lockbox on for me and send the lockbox code over to my virtual assistant. Now I communicate with my virtual assistants through WhatsApp, okay? It's a free phone app. My virtual assistants are in uh, the Philippines, so I can pick up the phone and call them as if they were here in the United States. So my virtual assistant, he texted me the uh, lockbox code yesterday, and here I am today doing this video. So let's go ahead inside the property. I'm gonna give you some tips on what to do inside as well. Make sure you take a picture of all four corners of each room. So I would stand in this corner, in that corner, in that corner, and that corner. And I wanna take pictures of all four corners of the room. Then I'm gonna get a, a, a high picture and a low picture as well. This way you're showing your buyers all four corners of each room. So it's as if they're actually in the property looking at the house uh, with you. So that's tip number two. You know, make sure that you, uh, number one, get a lockbox on the property. And number two, make sure you walk through the property and take pictures of all four corners of the room. So I would take out my camera and I would simply stand in a corner and I would snap a picture. Then I'll go to the other corner just like this and I'll snap a picture, and I'll do the same thing. Then what I will do is I will actually get a high picture and a low picture as well. So that way the, the uh, buyer is actually seeing the entire room in its entirety, all right? If we walk into the kitchen here, you know, this is a smaller kitchen, but I would do the same thing. Just make sure you get pictures of all four corners. And that corner right there, I can't necessarily take a picture, but in a, in a case like that, I'm just gonna make sure any corner, this is not a corner right here. Uh, I would actually make sure that I'm getting pictures of all four corners of the room. 
all right? The next thing you want to do, the next thing that I would personally do, and what, we're, what we've been doing is, what, is what's working really well for us, we're actually doing Zoom calls. So when we're tying these properties up with sellers, we're actually on the phone with the seller on a Zoom call, and we're recording the Zoom call, all right? So the seller is actually walking through the property, and uh, as he's walking through the property, we're actually recording the video. Then what I would do is I would take that video and send it out to my cash buyers. If that's not possible, you can also do like a FaceTime call just so you can see the house to make an offer. And if that's not possible, get the lockbox on the property, just like I told you in the beginning of the video, make sure you come to the property or send your, your assistant out to the property. And then if you got an iPhone, if you got an Android, everybody has a smartphone today. If you don't have one, invest into one. Right. But the, the point is, make sure you record every every phone has a camera on it today. Record the entire house. And the way I would do that, let's just walk in, walk through this room real quick. I would actually go through the house and I would almost do like a virtual tour of the property. Right. And then I would go up to the ceiling and then get the angle. I'm not recording nothing right now, but I'm just giving, giving you an idea. Then I would get the floor, uh, the lower level as well. Then you could just walk through the house and you can just talk to the camera, okay? So I would do something like, all right, so this bathroom, it has a lot of mold in it at the point, uh, at this point, um, this bathroom needs a complete remodel, all right? And that way you're giving your buyers an idea of what the condition of the property is. This is the basic rehab on a room. So I'm just gonna give you a full angle of the room itself. I'm gonna get, that's the, the higher uh, level of the room. It's the mid level and it's the lower level. And then that way, you know, you're giving your buyers an idea of what the room is about. You do that through the entire property. You make sure that you uh, get each room and you make sure that you, you uh, give your buyer an idea of what they're looking at as you're talking to the camera as well. So really, you want to focus on three things. It's not hard, okay? Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you get a lockbox on the property, all right? And that will take care of entering the house. And you don't ever have to see the seller. The seller, the seller don't ever have to see you. And then walk through the property. Do a video. Get a video and pictures of problem areas. So for example, if we go back into this bathroom right here, um, you'll see there's a lot of mold in that bathroom, right? If you look at the, look at all of the mold in the bathroom right there, right? You wanna highlight that because that's gonna be uh, good information for your buyers when you're selling the property. You, you don't wanna leave any surprises. Now, obviously your buyers are gonna be the ones who's gonna justify the, the price as well as the repair estimates on the properties. But you want to provide them with this information up front to justify your asking price in order to uh, speed things up, in order to get you a paycheck and get the buyer their properties as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell for more videos just like this one. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one.